What is up guys, back in today with another reaction to Classroom of the Elite, this time with Season 3, Episode 8. Looking forward to today, we had a very hype episode last night with Yamuchi being kind of voted uh, by Horikita, who stood up at the end of last episode after talking to her brother. Um, and uh, yeah, she uh, she has recommended Yamuchi for expulsion, which is absolutely fantastic news. Uh, we did have an interesting segment earlier on in the episode as well, with Ayana Koji being confronted with uh, one of Ichinose's classmates and um, her telling him about the whole Nagamo stuff those who cannot remember the past are condemned to repeat it uh but um yeah that should be another interesting situation to follow up on uh do let me know what you guys think about this episode down in the comment section make sure to leave a like on the video if you guys do enjoy it and subscribe to the channel if you do want to keep up to date get right into it Ah, oh, of course. Selling out his friends instantly. <laughs> and yeah, notice how no one is speaking up for him right now. <laughs> Not a single person. Yeah, that's a good point. But a point I've got against that actually is I've been saying Koenji is probably a favourite, but the thing about Koenji is with Yamuchi, we've seen him betray us, and he'll betray us in the future if we keep him around. With Koenji, he's kind of like an immovable pillar. You can't win him over to do to help you, but you also can expect the same if another class comes to him, you won't help them. So he's he won't ever betray us. So that's actually a bit of a positive for him. I'm guessing we're not getting the opening because we're having the uh, the credits roll already. Yes, he has. So yeah, it doesn't look like we're getting the opening today. It's a bit of a shame. More episode time though, which is good. But this is big, this is, because there's a lot of big fans of Iron Okoji right here. And there. Like, listen to that girl. <laughs> um, they're obviously not going to be big fans of that whatsoever. She isn't either. She already wasn't a big fan of Yamauchi. Ah, oh, this is terrible right, for Yamaguchi right here. Going against Kushida right now. The most popular girl in class, I believe. Hey, it looks like we got a bit of a shot at her as well. You know, this has ended up being very, ended up helping us out quite a lot here. Get that rat bastard Yamuchi out and fire a little shot at Kushida. True. Surely everyone knows about this, right? Oh, I guess not. That would have been the first thing that came to my mind as soon as I, as soon as Saki and Aggie came into the class and took him out. This guy is doing a terrible job at defending himself. <laughs> also, though, I'm feeling like if I was in this position, I'd be kind of, I'd be so anxious, and because you know you're getting expelled, pretty much, I'd be so anxious and worried, and yeah, it'd be horrible. But I don't feel too bad because it is Yamuji. Indeed. 
And he literally, like, the first defense he had was selling out both his friends, so... My girl. <laughs> You're going to protect him? He literally sold you out instantly. Well, more than one. The whole fucking group. Hey, nice. Except Kushida, but we can't. He's doing such a terrible job right now. It would probably be better if he just shut up and sat down. Okay, what you got for us, e right Because at the end of the last episode, he had a lot to say, but he had nothing to say at the same time. And it looks like it's more of the same here. He just disagrees with it. He hasn't he hasn't said any other possibility, any other different way we could do this. He's just saying it's not right. So he's just saying a bunch of emptiness right here. He rather. He's got a lot of influence though. I draw. <laughs> and end all. <laughs> Hey, go on, Oikia. Yeah, recommend something then, bro. What the fuck? Holy crap. You seeing this dark side right here? Wow, holy crap. Maybe this is what why Hirata is in class was in class D. Sorry, I did just miss what he said there. Yeah, perhaps this is we we all know that these guys have a few defects. Supposedly defects. Perhaps this is Hirata's. Ah, okay, I see. I see, so he's just mad at everyone for gagging up on Yamauchi. Should he be? Again, he really, he really hasn't had much to offer <laughs> doing all this, honestly. What do you suppose we do then, Hira? Tell us, please. Give us some kind of recommendation, some kind of alternative then. If you're going to speak up. Oh, don't do that. Well, are you not doing the exact same thing right now by saying that this against Horikia? Are you not doing the exact same thing? And it's, and it's like, she's doing it visibly as well. She's not being super sneaky about it.
Oh, okay then. I see how it is. Okay then. Yeah, fuck you. Shut up and fuck you. Be right if you want to go against us as well. I'm absolutely fine with that. Again, he's been way too goody two shoes as is. You already have. Hero man, like I really couldn't give more of a, less of a fuck about the guy already. Like it's not that I don't like him, but he's getting way too goody two shoes, just like the perfect guy. Blah blah blah. So now he's giving me a reason to not like him. Honestly, he's being pretty stupid. <laughs> you guys not think he's being pretty stupid? He literally just had a go at Horikita for inciting people to vote against uh, uh, Yamaguchi. Although we have plenty of reason to vote against Yamaguchi. And because she's done this, he now wants to vote against her. But all she's really done is, again, create. I don't even really call it infighting. She's just incited everyone to gang up on Yamuchi, which is the exact same thing Yamuchi done. But she's done it visibly. She's done it so that everyone, like, see through. So everyone can, everyone knows what she's doing. She's explained the whole process. She's done it in front of everyone. He's done it secretly and sneakily. He's now done the exact same thing she done by saying that he's going to vote for her, and that and essentially his he's, his speech is just like a, a less detailed version of what Horikita's speech was against Yamuchi is what his speech was against her right there. Uh, and honestly, I think he's been pretty emotional and stupid. To be honest with you, <laughs> I feel like he's been pretty emotional and stupid. So he uh, he was he was like in the middle, maybe low middle of my books with the whole class, like rankings wise, and he's just gone a bit low for that. I don't like that whatsoever. He just let his emotions take over here. Look at him sulking over there like a little baby. But um, yeah, do you know what? I wouldn't mind crushing you either. He's a he's a big influence in this class, so maybe he needs to go soon if he's going to continue like this. Maybe Horikia can take him down. Although I think Horikia is much less liked and has much less influence in this class than Hirata. But that was uh, <laughs> that was quite the segment right there, wasn't it? Fucking hell! No wonder we skipped the opener. Oh, isn't this the bully girl? No, I like Ibuki a bit more now. <laughs> the fact that the bully votes against her. Must mean she's a better person than... Yeah. Better person than you think. Well, we're pretty sure he's not going to get expelled, so. I think you already can, to be honest, the fact that you've been relegated. Class D. <laughs> Feisty one, you are. <laughs> We're really quoting the in between as well. What was that about? We'll just attack her for no reason. Can't help but feel like that was maybe a bit sexual. <laughs> So he's given his points over, 
But again, I'm pretty sure a couple of episodes ago he mentioned that he probably won't be getting expelled here. So, and I don't expect him to be. I think he's a big player. He's a character. I, much as again, as bad things he's done, he's probably one of my favourite characters. So, let's hope that's not the case. She calling him a new boyfriend. Or make your scheduled calls with your boyfriend. Oh. She's going to try and get the points by herself beforehand, as you would. You'd almost feel a bit disrespected if you were Nagamo there, right? And it's not really a respectful situation in general, is it? But I guess a lot of feet fans are like that shot right there. That was quite strange. <laughs> a little bit of feet play. I hope this guy doesn't get expelled because I, I do like it. Katsu Ragley, I think his name is. What do you mean by that? Leave the king on the board. Who is the king? Definitely not Yamauchi. You'd expect it to be talking about Aina Koji right there, but... It's as clear as can be. You'd expect, you'd expect it to... Well, understandably, he's fucking anxious. Um, yeah, you expect it to be Yamauchi, but if it's not, I'm going to be livid. <laughs> Uh, I feel like it's not going to be Yamu. I'm getting bad vibes right here. I feel like it's not going to be Yamuchi, is it? Let's just go back to this for a sec. So she thinks it's as clear as can be. Intriguing. Even though Yamuchi got exposed. You should leave the king on the board until... And who is the king? See, the thing about the king in chess is the king is the most important piece, but also it's, it's one of the least involved pieces, at least until the end game anyway. It is uh, quite a strong piece in the end game. Um, obviously, it's the piece you want to protect the most. Obviously, you want to leave the king on the board till the end. <laughs> but um, who, who would that be? Again, you, you'd think it would be Aina Koji would be the king. But... Iron Koji is a lot more lethal than a king, I think, in, in, in the game as a whole. So I almost see him as the queen, honestly. Who would the king be? Hira? Is Hira going to get expelled? People are not going to be happy about the way he acted up. I doubt, I doubt it. I really doubt it. King. Yeah, super important piece. It can't be... Should The way she says you should leave it makes you feel like... They're getting rid of it. So, very interesting wording right here. Obviously, in the ending, we see a lot of visuals with the, the chess pieces and such. So, I imagine that actually is a little hint, perhaps, towards uh, towards this arc and who might be getting expelled and such. I've tried to actually analyse that a bit before, but um, not ever in that much detail. Again, I've got a feeling I'm not going to like the outcome of this. 
I've just got that feeling. And it seems like Yamuchi's got that feeling as well. Everyone fucking praying. Does she think it's still going to be Aina Koji? Here we go. Do you know what? This is actually probably one of my favourite tests in a long time. As simple as it is, definitely the best one this season. Might be one of my favourites since season one, honestly. Look how fucking smug this guy is. Ugh. Yes, you did. Well, wow, this guy's so smug. I wonder if I wonder if he actually did get Class A to help him, because he's kind of useless now as a toy. Oh. Okay, so this is one of the additional lives. Shit. That is terrible news. Expected. He doesn't look too happy about it. No, I, I imagine it did take a little dent though. I think Kikyo Kushida took a dent as well, her being third. Yeah, who's number one then? Is it Yamauchi? Oh, shit. Oh shit! She lied! She lied! Sakiraki did lie to Yabuchi. So I imagine all of class I actually voted for Ida Koji. With the hopes of probably exposing him as class, a, as class C's leader. And she obviously lied to Yabuchi. <laughs> Just for the fun of it, I guess. Um, wow, okay. Pretty good play there if that is the case. I think the positive votes, I think they did say it's from their class as well as all the other classes are going to be voting for the positive side on each class, but all the negatives are only class specific. So again, it seems like, I imagine um, he's got a few favourites like Ichi Noze and a few other girls like the uh, the library girl, I forget her name, um, but there's a few girls and such that he's friendly with outside of, uh, outside of his class, but um, so he's probably got a few votes from them. Maybe maybe a lot of people in class B voted for Anakoji as well because they like him, but and they and they know that he's potentially close with you know there perhaps, but it seems like uh, Saki and Agi got everyone in class A to vote for Anakoji again, maybe with the hopes of exposing him because to beat Hirata and Kashida is pretty extraordinary. And we do not like to stand out as extraordinary. We saw where that got us with the sports day stuff. He got very popular with the ladies. That's handy though, I guess. But it's also really horrible seeing that Kushida has got an extra life. Hey, what did she say there? Sorry. So he did get he did get the most of the year. Okay, good, good. So uh, my expectations were kind of wrong about this not going the way I was hoping for. It, it hasn't gone exactly perfectly because Kushida's got an extra life and Ayana Koji might potentially be outed. So there's definitely some negative to this. But great, great ending vote here for Yamuchi. See you later, mate. <laughs> See you later, buddy. There ain't no one buying you back. I wonder if you could use an extra life on someone else. Probably not, right? I imagine you can only use it for yourself. You're dismissed. <laughs> this 
They have already been deleted. Jesus, yeah. If this hasn't got to him already, then... Bad idea. Yeah, bad idea. This guy's a giant. <laughs> Do him! Do him, Koenji. They, have they not seen him, son, maybe? He's an absolute giant of a man. Damn, I really want to see Quentin put him out of his misery there. <laughs> you still feel a little bit bad because this guy's just been expelled from school. No matter how bad he is. Definitely not the worst character in the series. Oh. Man, this really is super fucking harsh, isn't it? Do you hear him crying in the background? It really is a super harsh test. Like I said, I think this is one of my favourite ones yet because as simple as it is, it really does create that chaos. And it actually is super emotional in the end because someone has to... It's not like people fail and lose points and, and such. Someone has to be expelled in this. It's obviously not a usual test. But this is, again, this is probably one of my favourites since season one, honestly. But yeah, just listen to this man cry here. Again, I almost do feel a little bit bad for Yamuchi because, again, it's the, the whole high... I'm not sure if they can go to like a different school after this or what, but... The whole time at this school is that it's now just done like that's like the worst thing that can happen to you especially as a teenager imagine everything feels worse as a teenager <laughs> everything feels like the worst thing ever but i can't imagine this feels like the worst worst thing ever having this happen to you so i do feel for yamuchi in a way again he wasn't totally the worst character we've seen we've seen characters do worse things in this series uh, there's worse people out there but um he was just unfortunately the, the most deserving wasn't he but uh, I feel a lot for this guy, honestly, hearing this guy bloody cry in the background. Uh, we did see glimpses of him um, through the through this season at the start, season two a little bit, but mostly in season one. That's a bit of a shame. Hearing him weep in the background like that. It really sucks ass, doesn't it? Oh, sorry to keep pausing, but... Class B, N, A, which is interesting. It doesn't say NA right there, so I imagine it says NA because that person did get expelled, but obviously we brought them back. It's just the question is if Itchy knows a let them get expelled. Who's Manabe who's Manabe Shiho? Obviously not Ryuan written there, so that's interesting. Who the hell's Manabe Shiho? I recognise that name. Manabe obviously is the name of Horikita, but I recognise Shiho as well. Manabe Shiho. Is that the is that the bully girl? Yes. That's a that's a win right there. Let's go. Yeah, no wonder I recognise that name. It's the fucking bully girl. We got on to K last season. Honestly, some of these expulsions kinda got couldn't have gone any better. Except for class A, to be honest with you. Couldn't have actually gone any better. Expulsion wise. You've got to imagine, obviously, uh, Saki and Aggie has an extra life now as well. Okay, but yeah, expulsion wise went very well. <laughs> Thank you for showing us that. Aina Koji got a bunch of positive votes for him. <laughs> Ibuki looks like she's happy to be here. Yo, I appreciate these guys, honestly. Horrible as what they've done last season was. They're loyal, aren't they? 
Got to respect that. So, I know you got paid to help them, okay. <laughs> He's absolutely smitten right there. Okay, so it's actually all of B class, a bit for you and positively, okay. Ah, that worked out perfectly. Oh, shit. That worked out perfectly. So I said earlier about everyone in B class potentially voting for Ayana Koji. That definitely confirms everyone in A class voted for Ayana Koji. No. You're doing exactly the same thing. Exactly. Slightly different because he's like the boss, but or was the boss. Wow. Oh shit, well, well played there, Koshi. Helped out Ichinose as well as Class C. Helped out your pawns nice and, uh, yeah, your pawns helped out each other essentially. That's some good teamwork right there. Damn, that was very well set up. Okay, then, Nike. What do you want? Wait, find the opening now? Seems like an odd choice. I would have preferred to see the ending, honestly, because again, what I said about earlier with the whole chess pieces, um, probably portraying some of the events that happened. Interesting. But yeah, that again. I, I'm. I don't know what to make of it. I'm pretty happy. I think I'm pretty. I'm. It went about as perfect as you can expect. I think. A lot of my favourites didn't get expelled. Some of the worst people did. Yamauchi, Shiho. No one from Class B, and I don't really care about that guy from Class A, but I definitely feel for him. He wasn't a bad guy whatsoever. And you know, it was actually pretty nice in season one. So yeah, I think Ayana Koji is the king there, isn't he? But um, yeah, I, I was uh, again. My theory was that maybe a lot, a lot of people in class B voted for Ayana Koji because of his relationship with Pichinose, which a lot of them don't know about, but some of them are obviously privy, privy to, as we saw in the uh, conversation at the start of last episode. But again, it definitely confirms that pretty much all of class A voted for Ayana Koji to get that again, probably to expose him and make him seem. Um, shady to the, to the class as to why he's more popular around school than uh, than Hirata or Kushida because that does stand out a lot doesn't it the guy that doesn't stand out <laughs> again we saw it in in the sports day the fact that he raced Manabe and almost beat him um if it wasn't for I think he got uh, I don't remember what happened during that but they did show like a little glimpse of something happening to him the why he didn't beat him um, but he stood out a lot then and he got a lot of attention for it from Sato, from a few other girls. Um, so yeah, this is a similar type of situation where um, Sake Nagi has kind of played her, her cards as to attack Ayana Koji more than anything. Because she knew, she probably knew she couldn't get her expelled, but uh, she still managed to get an attack through. Kind of like what we did with Kushida, we, we obviously couldn't get her expelled, but we actually managed to get a little attack through and kind of dent her reputation a little bit. Um, with uh, with Horikita's speech, which you love to see. Uh, again, Hirata's reaction was very childlike, honestly, and um, 
I'm, uh, I'm not too surprised that his reputation hasn't gone down too much, but I imagine it did take a little dent because seeing that, that was again, that was way too childlike and emotional and and, uh, and stupid to be honest with you. I didn't really like that from him whatsoever. I, I would, again, I'd, I'd happily see him gone, honestly, if it if he's going to continue like that. Oppose Horikita because Horikita was nothing but transparent right there. She done that in front of the whole class. She she said every point. She made great points at that. He was just mad at the fact that she done it like. The dude needs to grow up really don't know if that's just like a me thing but um, yeah love the way this ended as well seeing how I and Koji sorted this all out um, pretty much again just getting his pawns to help each other and uh, and actually getting um, and that obviously benefits him with these pawns actually being becoming stronger pieces it's almost like he promoted a pawn to like a knight or a or a bishop he's actually made his pieces a little bit stronger so um, yeah actually love to see that uh, do let me know what you guys think about this episode though down in the comment section probably a long reaction here as usual uh, leave a like on the video if you guys did enjoy it and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date I'll be back next week with episode 9 so see you guys then and enjoy the rest of your day guys